Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2330, Excel Secret Decoder Ring. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today, I'm recording this April 2nd. It'll go live April 3rd. But yesterday, April 1st, Mike Gervin sent me this formula. He says he got it from Bill Sizz, and uh, I looked at it. I was on my phone, right? I didn't have Excel handy. Well, I have Excel on the phone, but I wasn't going to try and do it there and I looked at this and I, I saw that 36 and I was instantly transported back to 1973. Now I couldn't solve it just by looking at it because I'm not good at doing this uh, division in my head but if you're old like me you remember 1973 watching TV on ABC Saturday morning cartoons a little song that taught you multiplication by 12 but before they got to the multiplication tables uh, they talked about this planet where everyone had 12 toes and how they could count really fast. And in that system, uh, the, the digits were 7, 8, 9, deck, L, do. Couldn't remember little 12 toes. I just Googled deck, L, do, and boom, I ended up at the illustration. That little jingle, I was 8, 47 years ago, taught me about alternate number systems. Michael Eisner from Disney said kids will never understand it, but we understood it. Now today, the place where we run into this a lot is in colors. If you're designing a web page and you're trying to create web safe colors, the colors today are in hex. And that stands for hexadecimal, which means it's a 16 digit number system. So instead of little 12 toes, it's little 16 toes. Oh, hey, something else that just came out this week, interrupting the video here, these hex color codes, I'm gonna copy that. And if I wanna use either the fill color or the font color, when we go into more colors, it used to be that you had to convert those to RGB codes. Uh, you can now, they have a hex box right here, so let's paste uh, and say OK. And then here, copy, Control C, and more colors, custom, and paste the hex codes right in, right? So how cool is that? You don't have to do uh, the conversion to RGB. All right, back to the story. And think about how hard it would be to have deck, L, and DO on your computer keyboard. So smartly, they use 7, 8, 9, and then A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, F is 15, and then 1, 0 in this system is actually 16. I remember just fresh out of college, working in IT, COBOL, you know, the, the program would blow up in the middle of the night. You'd have to go in. Uh, and read the hex dumps, and you're reading this hexadecimal to try and uh, figure things out. Uh, in hexadecimal, it's pretty simple. Uh, you have the, letter, the numbers zero, 0 through 9 and A through F. And so if I have this number, B, B E A D, I take the least significant digit, that's D, which is the 13th number, uh, and the least significant digit is always a 1. It's 16 raised to the 0th power, which is 1. And then A is a 10. So take that 10 times 16, 16 raised to the first power. And then the next digit, E, 16 raised to the second power is 256. So 14 times 256. And here I'm doing all this math. And it adds up to 48813. Well, it turns out there's a great function in Excel that'll just do this for us called the decimal function. Take any hexadecimal number or word and you can uh, very quickly convert it back to 48813 without having to do all this math. Uh, and if you have 48813, you can then use the base function, saying that we're in a 16, in a world where there's everyone has 16 fingers and toes, uh, and it converts it back to a number. Now, this is kind of cool uh, if you could spell things with those six letters. And there's not a lot of things you can spell with those six letters. Bead is one, uh, you know, that you can Google for words you can spell with hex. Uh, but when I saw Mike's uh, formula here in that 36, I said, oh, well, that, whoever did this is really, really clever. Because it's not just the letters A through F. We're going to have the digits 0 through 9, and then the letters A through Z. A through Z. So in this system, you can spell anything. All right, so here's Mike's formula. If I press Control, Shift, Quotation Mark, what is that? That's control ditto. Whatever is directly above me, it'll bring it down and leave it in edit mode. That is text up there in B4, but because I press control shift ditto, it's going to come down and 
April Fool's Day. All right, now we're a couple of days late for this. But the cool thing about this is if you know the decimal function and the base function, uh, you can go either way here, right? So I was talking to Mike and, you know, Mike, Mike's not as old as I am. He doesn't probably remember a little 12 toes in 1973. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I sent him uh, something about Oval Team. Uh, which was the secret Dakota ring in the, the movie Christmas Story, but we digress. And Mike's like, okay, I want Ovaltine is chocolatey, is chocolatey rad. And then I said, according to Mike, Excel is fun and Gervin. So we have these words, these are numbers here in a base 36 numbering system. Uh, to convert those back to real numbers, the decimal using 36. So we get all of those numbers. And then uh, what we're doing here with the new dynamic arrays uh, is asking for the base of each of those numbers in the 36 numbering system, and we can pass them all as a single array constant. So you can type anything here. Uh, and by the way, download this uh, down in the uh, YouTube description. You can download this workbook. Um, once we have that workbook, type anything you want here in these orange cells. If you need something longer, just insert some new orange cells in the middle and copy the decimal function in. Uh, and then this concatenates everything together. So now control shift quotation mark, enter. Over clean is chocolatey rad according to Mike Excel is fun Gervin. So you would send this formula to someone in an email. They would copy that, go to uh, go to Excel, enter it as a formula, and the secret message will come out. Well, that was six minutes of your life. You're never gonna get back. Uh, thanks to Bill Sizz for sending it on to Mike Gervin and sending it on to me and uh, bringing back this uh, awesome memory of little 12 toes. Uh, if you like the tips on every other day, please subscribe <laughs> and ring that bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below. Uh, the new book, Mr. Excel 2020, Seeing Excel Clearly, click that I in the top right-hand corner. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.